Hey guys, Natalia Schneimler here. I help boy moms have a better relationship with their sons and themselves by teaching them the tools how to manage their mind so that when anything comes up in life, they know exactly how to take care of themselves and their kids. Hey guys, how are you doing? I am doing so well. The hockey season has started and I am a crazy mom, hockey, crazy hockey mom. Basically, so excited for my son to make it to whatever division he made it to. And he wanted to start doing body contact. So if you're not a hockey mom, you can choose to do no contact. So no hitting, no physical contact. Or they can choose to do contact. It's called body contact. And he, my son wanted to do that. And to get to do that, you have to be a certain level. You have to be good enough to make it to that division. And he did. And we're so excited. So now I'm hoping he's not going to get hurt. But that was really exciting going through evaluations and just seeing how far he's come along, how much his work has paid off. And I am seriously, I'm a crazy hockey mom. Everyone's making fun of me, but I love it. I'm so excited for him and I can't wait to see all his games. So that's what's exciting for me. And I wanted to share with you some little sneaky little bastards. I just thought how sneaky they were, these little thoughts. And I wanted to share them with you so you can catch some of your own sneaky little guys. And the reason I think they're sneaky is because they seem innocent. They come into our head but they do some damage. So the one little sneaky little guy that I've noticed that I started to think is everything is speeding up. Life is speeding up. Like the to-do list is, is growing. And then my head says, well, I'm not keeping up. And it seems to my head, to me, it was so innocent. It felt like I was just observing what's going on in my life, like I'm just stating the fact, you know, it's just, just an observation. But it's not an observation, it's not a fact, and it's actually an opinion, it's optional. And actually this thought, sneaky little devil, was making me feel overwhelmed and was kind of bringing, uh, taking me in the direction of I'm a failure, like I'm not keeping up, it's too much. And when I thought that, in, well, you know what I was doing? I was overwhelmed. And when I was overwhelmed, I was looking for examples of how I'm not keeping up. So what would I look at in my head? I would be like, oh, I have to still do this and this and this and this, and I still haven't done that. Oh my gosh, and I have to keep in track of that. So All I was looking at is all the things that I haven't done yet. And it was completely ignoring everything that I have kept up with. And in fact, how well I'm doing. It was ignoring all of that. And it was like tunnel vision on, oh my gosh, everything is just too much. Everything's speeding up. There's so many things being added. And I feel like life is speeding up. And it felt like I was saying a fact when, when in fact I wasn't. And it was, it was creating a feeling for me of a failure, like I'm not doing well. So then I noticed it. And, and when you have this feeling, right, when you're not doing well, you're failure, overwhelm, anxiety, like you're behind, how is that going to fuel you for the day? It's not going to do that well, right? You're going to feel, you're going to be dragging your feet and you're not going to want to do the things. You're just going to want to lie down and cry, right? Or eat or drink or whatever you want to do. So it's sneaky, sneaky little bastards got in my head and were dragging me down with a really heavy feeling. So I got on to it, the, the sneaky little bastard and at one point I got so pissed off at this, at this sneaky little bastard. I was folding laundry and I had that feeling again and I, you know, had that thought and I noticed it and I thought, you know what? F this, like, I am doing pretty well. And I started telling myself all the things that I'm keeping up with, all the things that I'm doing, all the things that I've done. The kids are fed, the house is clean, you know, the laundry's done, the podcast is taken care of, I'm helping everyone, I'm driving it, like, everything is fine. Everything important is taken care of and all the extra things. And I thought, and I felt better. I'm like, you know what, let's just 
put this new, little sneaky little bastard back in its place. And I feel better. I feel good about myself. I'm like, let's just set the record straight. And I did. I felt that that one. I felt like, and I. that's why I'm sharing with you. Check your little sneaky little bastard. Don't just let them state the obvious. And they're like, yeah, well, that's what's happening. I am la-. like, if you might be thinking I'm lazy. You might be thinking that that's the truth. You might be thinking that you're just observing what's happening. You might be thinking that that's just the fact. But in fact, (laughs) that thought, I'm lazy, is just a bunch of words that's creating a feeling for you that might not be creating anything good for you at this point. So check with your thoughts and feelings. So how I get on to these little bastards is I see how I'm feeling. I'm like, why am I feeling this way? And then I check, okay, what am I thinking? Another sneaky little bastard I think is hilarious is I'm old and fat. Where in fact, I'm young and beautiful, but my brain, for some reason, because I'm getting older, I'm 40, and I'm a little bit heavier than when I was 20, that's it, is decided, like wrote me off and decided I'm old and fat. Well, thanks a lot, brain. Thanks for nothing. Um, so I like to remind myself, you know what? I'm beautiful. I'm young. I'm young and beautiful. Um, so I hope you that cheered you up. I hope that you had a good laugh with me and be on to your sneaky little bastards. Find them, question them and talk back to them. Tell them, hey, it's like slap them on both cheeks. Say, shut it. You know, I know what's better and tell them the truth. So, of course, I can do that also for you. That's why I offer coaching and I can slap your little cheeks and tell you, what, you know, you're wrong. You're just, you're focusing on the wrong things. And that's why I coach. So come, have us have a chat. I can help you with anything, but I love, would love to help you with your relationship with yourself and whoever is close to you, your son. Go to my website, www.coachingnatalia.com and go to sign up for a free session. I'll see you in Zoom. I love you. Have a great week. Bye.